Hey guys, this is going to be net, net, <laughs> Netflix recommendations. It's going to be all about movies and series in Netflix that you might want to watch. This is automatic, responded, recorded, programmed, voice changer. <laughs> if you want to try this, just feel free to use this sound. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do Netflix recommendations, as you can see from the title. And I decided to do this video because I was watching a lot of series and movies recently. And I feel like I have some ideas if you're looking to watch something on Netflix. And especially if you have the same taste is me because I really like fantasy and comedies and kind of teen movies as well I guess and yeah I feel like if you need some ideas so this is the video I don't really watch drama action or horror movies it's just not my thing so consider that in mind and if you are like fantasy fan keep on watching so the first one I'm going to talk about is fantasy, of course. It's Once Upon a Time. So how did I heard about this? So this is very interesting story actually. Not very, but it's interesting because it's fantasy and I haven't heard about it. So one day one of the guys I was living with before, he told me there's letter for me in the house, so I have to go and take it. So of course I was thinking this letter might be important, so I have to go. I went there, just for the reference, it wasn't important. And we just catch up with this guy and we started talking about movies and series on Netflix. And he just mentioned this and I was like, what the fuck, how did I not heard about this? I mean, this is fantasy and I didn't even heard about it. So I was like, I just want to go home and watch it. Like, this is so interesting. I need to know what's going on on Netflix. So. That was the first thing I did when I get home. I just like explored all the seasons. Actually, the great thing is there's like seven seasons and all of them had like 20 something episodes, 24 I think, something like this. So this is great because it's always something happening and it's very intriguing and you know, some series mostly the first and the second season is nice and interesting and after that it just gets boring some kind it's just not as the first and the second but this one is exception this is very nice this to be honest it's it's there's like oh this is so magical you know this is fantasy of course and there's like fairies and pixie dust and magic beans and this all this magical objects and enchanted forest so it's all about these people that living in Storybrooke and this town actually not in the map because it's magical all these people actually they are characters in fairy tale but they just don't remember there was their memories because the evil queen Regina made this curse so they cannot remember and the only person who can save Storybrooke and the people can restore their memories is the savior and this is Emma Swan and there's a lot of going on so actually she came to this world through magical wardrobe in the enchanted forest and she's the only one who can save all of the people and break the curse but she needs to believe in magic and she don't and her son Henry is trying to convince her he really believes that all the characters from the book are actually real people in Storybrooke and Emma Swan is the savior he's trying to convince her in this but she just don't believe and it's like it's very it's very interesting and there's like 
other worlds going on that you can go through the portals and you need to use magic beans to open the portals it, it is very nice i i love it i personally love it this is like amazing everything is very good very good it's just very good very well presented i mean top top in very dope way and there's no white and prince charming actually my fave is rumpostew skin i don't know his real name but he's just very good actor it's just it's really my fave and i really like this movie and i even made tiktok based on one of the sounds of the evil queen because how could i not shall destroy your happiness if it is the last thing i do i shall destroy your happiness if it is the last thing I do. Let me get that drink. Cheers to the fantasy lovers. So the next one, obviously, it's fantasy again. So this one is called Black Whitening and this one is actually three seasons the movie the series actually is focused on this guy called jefferson pierce so i just wanted to mention that this series is inspired by comic book which is very interesting i guess for some people actually this guy jefferson pierce has these supernatural powers and he wants to punish the bad guys, the gangs doing illegal stuff in the city of Rewant and actually he retired nine years ago but he decided to go back as a black whitening again because of what's going on in the city and he actually has two daughters and they actually have superpowers as well and they found out their powers during the series and that was a very interesting part uh, the main issue actually is this guy called tobias tobias well and he's taking over the city so that's very bad and i really liked as well all the effects in the movie as you can notice that it, like takes a lot of time to make like the effects are very nice if you like i wish i had like real powers and when i do this and there's like whites coming on from my fingers but of course there's not gonna be happening and yeah actually this this series is very current with all this um black community issue i guess uh, that's going on around and yeah it's very empowering because this family actually are black people and they showing some kind of situations that really <laughs> happened and yeah it's, it's very interesting and I like this old guy I forgot his name that is actually helping Jefferson Pierce and his family he as well is like very good actor I don't know why just like it's very interesting uh, just you have to watch it if you haven't already so the next one is hilarious it's called good girls and netflix just dropped the third season oh, the third season oh my god i'm so excited this is like this is comedy crime it's like comedy but it's like it just makes me feel like i want to pull out my hair and do some crazy stuff it's just so much fun it is three seasons with 10 11 episodes and oh my god this is like amazing so much yeah. Yeah. and the best ever show i ever had it's just amazing it's all about these three girls uh actually mothers who have some kind of two of them are sisters actually and they have some kind of 
financial problems and they feel they deserve something better and they think they will be successful by robbing a supermarket and from there their successful robbery attracts the attention of the super manager who actually recognized one of the women and the names are actually Ruby, Beth and Annie and this one Annie works in the supermarket and it's called fine and frugal supermarket and she yeah, from there gets so interesting uh, Beth is the mother of four children wow four children and she actually is more into the uh, crime she enjoys her life as a criminal i guess and beth is the unofficial leader of the group another one is called ruby and she is struggling to pay her daughter's kidney disease and medical things and there's one guy he he's a gunk and he's doing some illegal business and he has some particular interest in bed and they have like some kind of affair is like so interesting so much fun and of watching it but there's a lot of twists and turns you wouldn't expect so do yourself a favor and watch it. The next one is very, very funny. And it's called On My Blog. It's kind of comedy teen kind of series. And it has three seasons. And it's so much fun. The main events are located in this very rough inner city of Los Angeles. I think it's called Free Ridge. And... It's all about these teens who actually are building lifelong relationships but they are being tested in some different ways and the main characters are Monse, Ruby, Jamal, Cesar and Jasmine and I guess Jasmine is just the crazier of all of them she's just doing all this crazy stuff I love watching her and Monse is this very strong Afro-Latina tomboy girl. Is actually kind of leader of the group. And Ruby is the smartest of all of them. Jamal is nerdish guy, but he's so much fun as well. And Cesar is this guy who actually is forced into the life of crime because of his brother who has been released from the prison and he has this blossoming relationship with Monse. It's like so much fun. I love this one. I, I can't believe. It's like these like these are kids and they're amazing. I think this is very very well written. The storyline is very interesting as well. There's just the perfect balance between mystery and humor and includes gangs and parties and some violence and romance. Just everything. Titans is my fifth recommendation. It's just amazing. Um, it has only two seasons and it's all about these young superheroes who are combined into a team. I really enjoyed how much effort they put into developing the characters. It's just unique but in a darker way, I, I can say that. Surprisingly good, the acting was solid and the cast as well was pretty good so that's why I think it deserves to be mentioned in my Netflix suggestions because the characters are evolving and there's emotional and touching moments in the same time but I feel like not everyone would like it it's like it's more suitable for mature audience and yeah I personally think is a great show and I'm glad I found it.
The next one is Alpha. Finally, movie recommendation. So, you have a boy and a dog, and this means adventure. The story actually is very simple. It's all about this guy called Keda and he is separated from his tribe and left to die and then appears this wolf and they made some kind of connection between them and they started their journey because Keda wants to find his way back home it's just epic it's a lot of this very strange ancient language you probably can't understand the adventure is visually stunning and honestly it made me think about a lot of things actually I really like animals in general so this is catching so the next one and very well deserved recommendation is Cursed so this one actually has only one season unfortunately and again fantasy drama and is the most recent released actually this year so that's why it's only one season i guess there's gonna be more seasons and this one is focused on this young girl nimue and she has mysterious gift and after her mother died her dying wish was to deliver some kind of ancient sword to Merlin so she has to find him and deliver the sword and along the way she met this guy Arthur and they fell in love and yeah along the journey she became the symbol of courage for so many people of all these um, uh, how they are called Fae, of the Fae <laughs> and um, I really actually enjoyed one another character she's blondish and very cute with these huge eyes it's called Pim oh my god oh she's so cute I have to say this was very refreshing to watch the actors are very talented and I really I cannot wait for season two and I hope COVID-19 is not going to make us wait too long and um, I'm really impressed so the next one is going to be Sailing Sunset this one is actually Sailing Sunset is a real estate located in Los Angeles and it's all about these agency girls and they are very very gossip so this is very entertaining and if you like incredible houses as well as me because I'm obsessed with houses this is just amazing show to be watched so very entertaining and Actually, the next season is coming very soon in August, so keep an eye on this one. The next one is Sweet Magnolias. Actually, this is very uplifting, romantic and funny series. I actually really enjoyed watching this. I feel like it's more girly and it's more focused on career development but still very funny uh, very refreshing as well the next one is Robin Hood as this one is very heavy to watch but really it changed me as a person I really enjoyed watching this movie next one is Shannara so Shannara is actually reminds me a little bit of Cursed but here we have elves and elf stones and it's like fantasy of course the next one is the last one letter of the king and it's about this young boy who holds the fate of the kingdom in his hands and he has to deliver this secret message to the king very very interesting and because 13 is my lucky number we have a bonus here with the 13 recommendation which is very funny movie it's called vacation 
and I really I laughed so much on this movie we watched it with my boyfriend amazing so much fun um, yeah um, so just in conclusion I want to mention that all these recommendations are based on my taste on my choice and what I like to watch so it might be not the same you might not like uh, the movies and the series as much as I do but this is just my opinion and yeah uh, I love watching Netflix so anyways I hope you have great weekend and see you soon it's time for popcorn and Netflix I love drinking coffee this iced coffee is just amazing taste you just have amazing taste about coffee I wish I had pixie dust. Everybody has magic. He just doesn't find it yet. Oh my god, I need to um, edit this video. It's going to take time as well. Why do I look like this? If I am a different person, I don't look like this. <laughs> the last tip, baby. Cheers.